Here we are. Welcome to Liyue's Institute of Toy Research. Yeah, we're here! I can already hear the sounds of machinery inside. Awesome! What is this place? And how do you know about it? Based on my limited understanding, I believe this is one of Dottore's research facilities. Dottore is another one of the Fatui Harbingers. He loves tinkering with old things. It's a personal passion of his. So, he converted these ruins into a Ruin Guard research lab. Huh? So the Ruin Guards are built by the Fatui? No, they have much closer connections to the Abyss. So, strictly speaking, they're as much our enemies as anyone else's. We just do research, nothing more. As to why the Ruin Guards have been moving outside of this area recently, I can only imagine that he's gotten bored of playing around with them, and has lost interest in this place. Wow, yet another Harbinger with a bad attitude. But at least this explains why you were totally okay with bringing Tuser here. Seems you did your homework ahead of time. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I actually have no idea what this place is like on the inside. Wait, so are you or are you not worried about your brother's safety? Of course I am. But no matter what the danger is, I will parry it. Isn't that what any older brother would do? Even Tusser understands that, now that he knows what he's fighting for. It's the very same reason that's been nestled in my own heart for so many years. What are you guys chatting about? Come on, let's go in! <laughs> Alright, follow me. Brother, someone was saying that Mr. Cyclops is a killing machine. Were they now? What a silly thing for them to say. And you shouldn't go repeating it either, Tuser. You're far too young to be talking about such violent topics. Yeah, I knew that they were lying anyways. Mr. Cyclops is here to defeat the bad guys and protect the world. He's my favorite toy. Right. With Mr. Cyclops around, the bad guys won't ever get you. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I'm going to go play with Mr. Cyclops now. Hey, Tuser, wait up! The, the door's shut. Will Tuser be all right? There's another path over there. Let's move. You? That's right. But give me a moment over here, Tuser. I need to make sure that everything's safe. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have spoiled him quite so much. Those ruin guards have all been strung up. Where are they being taken to? 
I don't know. But if there's a chance it's where Tusser is, we need to stop this before things get ugly. Tusser, see that big stone cube in front of you? I need your help. Yay! Do I really get to help my big brother out? You bet. Now I'll count down from three, and then we touch it together. Ready? Three, two, one. It's a witch ray that will turn you into a little lamb if it hits you. So stay out of its way. <gasps> That's scary. Back together at last. You're not hurt, are you, Tusser? Hurt? No way. This is really fun. Fine for you, maybe. We were all scared to death. What's over there? Wow, this room is huge. Is this where Mr. Cyclops takes his friends when they come to visit? It is. Impressive, isn't it? Now, how about a little game of hide-and-seek? Huh? Now? <laughs> I have a surprise for you, you know. A surprise? Oh, what sort of surprise? Don't worry, you'll have the chance to look for it later. But before that, you have to close your eyes, turn around, and count down from 60. Okay, 60 is a really long time, though. There's not much time. Let's clear all these hazards out. few numbers, you little rascal. <laughs> he noticed. All right, all right. 15, 14, 13. Give me another 10 seconds, Tusser. Still hiding. Huh. Now who's the cheater? All right. 10 seconds, that's it. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
actually pulled it off. And the way he knocked those ruin guards around was like they really were kids' toys. But Paimon wonders if he'll be alright after using the Valve Legacy transformation again. Awesome! <laughs> Boy, if these Mr. Cyclopses weren't so big, I'd sure love to take one home. Wait! Where'd he go? Where'd my brother go? Aren't you guys supposed to be playing hide-and-seek? Oh, that's right! I was so excited that I forgot all about our game! Well, let's go look for him together, okay? It's a good thing that you two found me first. Looks like using the Foul Legacy transformation while I was still injured took more out of me than I thought. I have no idea what I'd do if Tuser saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. <laughs> as I recall, you have siblings too, yes? I figured that you probably wouldn't take me out in front of my little brother. Really milking this situation, huh? Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, I'm always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise, you keep it. If you make a mistake, you apologize. And if you give someone a dream, you defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <laughs> Quit the tough guy act already! You need to see a doctor right away, mister! A fine suggestion, but first... I have a little something for two, sir. Please give it to him on my behalf. Huh? Is this... a Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya, but it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to Tusser. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> Cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tuser taught you that one, did he? All right, thank you. play here a little longer. Wow, look at this! I never knew that they made Mr. Cyclopses in this size! Look, it even has my name on it! It's my very own Mr. Cyclops! You're really loving it, huh? You bet! My brother is the best big brother ever! You had a tour of Leela, you met your brother, visited the Institute of Toy Research, and got yourself a souvenir. Now that's what we tour guides call the perfect trip. Do you think you're ready to head back to Snezhnaya now? <laughs> Don't worry. I know I can't get my way all the time. That'd just be annoying for everyone else. So, let's go.
Ma'am, young Master Tusser, I've been waiting for you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please, come this way. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. <laughs> Young Master Tusser, the boat to Shneznaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee, time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Miss Nice Lady. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. Pinky promise? You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> It's a promise, then. Bye-bye, Tusser. Have a safe trip. Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him, but I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you've spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. One other thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to two, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell my friends, till we meet again in Snezhnaya. Welcome to the Northland Bank. <laughs> <laughs>